terms of how you go about buying a share, um, you, you obviously need to read the prospectus, look at the risks, assess whether you think that we can get the customers that we're saying we think we can, can get in our prospectus, um, and decide what you think about the team that we have in there. And we, we've outlined the experience of the management team as well as the, the, the board of directors. Having made your decision that you're interested, uh, you then need, you can do one of a couple of things. So you can go to the website, download the prospectus and print out the page with the application form and either take it to a bank and get a bank check or send off a check with it to the registry. So that's the first method. It's quite easy if you happen to have checkbooks, but so many people don't these days. So we had to make sure there was a method where people could just use VPay. So you go onto the website, fill out the form that we have there to put your name, the name that you want to have the shares held in and the address, and then you submit it and it's on our website. At that point, we send you back an email to confirm that that's what you intended to do. And you have to press the confirm button or you haven't actually subscribed, you haven't requested to apply. And that's what we call the pre-registration step. We then gather up all those pre-registrations in one spreadsheet and send it across to the registry. They send you back a letter, an email, with a form which has your BPAY number in it. Now, all you have to do at that point, provided the name that's on that form is correct, is go into your bank account and use that BPAY to make a payment. That's all that's required. You don't have to fill out the form again. The only reason you would have to do anything with that bit of paper at that point is if you decided you wanted the shares held in some, some other name, in which case you have to fill out the form and send it off. The difficulty, I think, some people have had difficulty when they've been using iPads, for some reason, uh, and other people have had have, have thought that when they received the letter back from the registry office that they had to fill out some form again, which they don't. So there have been a couple of different points and then many people haven't realised they needed to click on the button and confirm that they'd actually registered. And some people didn't see the email with the BPA in it, went to their spam. So all of those things can go wrong. Please, if there are any problems at all, just ring us. There's a number on the website, um, so yeah, just ring us. There's been a bit of confusion about how many shares you can buy. Well, the answer is that you can buy any number from 1 to 100 to 200 and up. But you only get uh, up to five of those shares allow you to vote. And the reason we've done that is to make sure that we can't be taken over basically by somebody from coming in from outside. Just as we have the 51% majority owned within the community, we've also got that five voting shares limit. So you can buy as many shares as you like, but only five of them actually buy you votes. Beyond that, we should point out that you can share a share. So if you can, if you want to uh, participate but don't, don't, can't find the 1,000, then you can do as a number of other people are doing, which is to go into partnership with somebody else and share a share. Additionally, a number of uh, groups have said, we want to make it possible for people who can't actually uh, buy a share to support Innova, and at the same time to support a group in the community who are interested in renewables. So, uh, for example, there's a group in Sydney, there's a group in Newcastle uh, have uh, put uh, a way in which, on, on the website, on, on our website, so that you can actually donate to them, they will buy the shares. They will then get the dividends, uh, it means that they can carry on the work that they're doing, uh, but it also means that there'll be shares being bought in and over to allow us to get capitalised. And Byron Community College in the Byron region is doing the same thing.